Hello everyone, welcome to another teaching chat on colourful keys. My name is Nicola Canton, if you don't know me yet, I'm the teacher and the blogger behind colourfulkeys.ie and vibrantmusicteaching.com, which is a game site where you can get all kinds of uh, teaching games and activities and printables to use in your piano teaching. And what I want to talk to you about today is this idea that I changed a little bit this year, the way I've been assigning things to students. Now, this was inspired by something that Marvin Blickenstaff said at NCKP this year. Um, and he talked about how he writes out the assignment for the student before the lesson. And I was talking later to, um, who was it I was talking to? Anyway, I was talking to one of his pedagogy students, someone who had studied with him, and he said that this is the way they all do it in that program. And I just thought it was really interesting. So I um, I started investigating this further and looking at a way that I could bring it into my studio. How could I write out the assignment before the student comes in? It sounds like such a little thing, but it really sparked something for me because it's such a different way to think about it rather than the students come in and you react to what's presented to you, what they're bringing to you, how much they've prepared, etc. This way of assigning in advance just allows us to think forward to what they probably will arrive with, because if you've been teaching a little while, you can probably predict what's going to happen, especially if you know your student and their practice habits and all that good stuff. You're going to know, are they going to be finished with that piece? Are they going to need to move on to working on this or that? or change up the way they're practicing it or whatever else. So having this assignment sheet made out in advance seems like this tiny little step, but it actually gets us to think forward more. And there are lots of other reasons why I love doing this. So the way I've been doing it, let me detail it for you first. I've been making out these assignment sheets during the week before my student comes in. Now I've experimented with different times of doing this. So sometimes I do it all in a batch on Monday. Sometimes I do it straight after the student has left. So in the evening or the next morning after I've just had the student. And sometimes I do it directly before. And I still haven't decided which one of these options I like best, but um, they all have their advantages. And what I do is I just take the previous week's assignment sheet, I copy it, I paste it into a new doc, and then I change the things that I need to change. And you can get a template that looks something like my assignment sheet that you can use in Google Docs on my website because I've written a blog post about this process and I shared my template there. So you can grab that right now at colorfulkeys.ie slash advance, or I'll drop a link in the comments once I'm done with this video. So if you want to try it out, that's where you should go. But here's three reasons why you might want to try it out. Number one is that it's an automatic way of integrating your lesson planning in with everything else you're doing. So not only do you save yourself time from having to write out stuff in the lesson so you can be more present and focused more on what the student's doing in the lesson, but you also our lesson planning at the same time. Because if you're thinking ahead to what they need to practice, you're thinking ahead to the lesson too. Because if they need to practice this, that, or the other, you're gonna to need to prepare them for that during the lesson. And it helps you just think through the entire lesson in a more detailed way than you would if you just sat there staring at the ceiling. Now, if you already do lesson plans for your students, great. But this could save you some time because it's all in one. It's one package and it's a really great way to get all that stuff done all together and think through the entire lesson. Reason number two you might want to try this idea of assigning it in advance is that it helps you to see the big picture. Now what do I mean by that? Well, I mean that I keep all of these sheets in the one document, okay? So I can quickly scroll back through that doc and see oh, this student has actually been learning this piece for six weeks. And yes, I would be somewhat aware of that anyway, doing it with the old system of just assigning during the lesson. But it's right there in front of me. So it's always at the forefront, how long they're taking to learn things, what's getting practice, what's not getting practice, and all that kind of stuff. It just 
makes it so much clearer where we're headed and where we've come from when I see all these sheets together in my assigning an advanced document for that student. And the third reason you might want to try this is to get the parents more involved because if you use Google Docs, if you use the template that I'm giving you at colorfulkeys.ie slash advance, if you use that template, you're going to have an automatic way to share that with parents because there's a share button right there in Google Docs. Even if you decide to use something else, it's so much easier because it is digital. So you can have a PDF copy or whatever it is from the program that you're using and just email that to the parents to get them more involved in the practice process. Make sure they're always up to speed and they can always check up on what's going on in the lessons and what needs to be practiced. So those are my three big, huge reasons why you might want to try out this process. And it's been fantastic for me. So assigning in advance gives you lesson planning all in one. It helps you see the big picture and it helps to get the piano parents involved in the process too. So if you want to try this out yourself, once more, you can grab that template. That's at colorfulkeys.ie slash advance. And over there, you'll also find full details on how I do this and why I love it. and the pitfalls and all that good stuff is over there in that blog post. It's really detailed. I go into everything that I've thought about in this process. And I've really loved working that this way this year and it's continuing into next semester. So that's testament to the fact that it really is working for me. So grab that template. And while you're here, make sure you subscribe to Colorful Keys. And I'd also love it if you commented. So let me know in the comments what way it is that you do assignments right now. And if anything appealed to you about the way I assign in advance this system that I'm using, I'd love to know that too. Is there something that you can see not working about this? Or is there something that really appeals to you that you think would be fantastic about this way of preparing assignments? Like I said, it's just a little tweak but it really, really does change the game for me at least. And I hope it will for you too. So that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful week. Chat to you then.